Now we will discuss the second difference. Second difference is the difference between natural gas and petroleum gas. Okay. Second is like the question number is seven. Okay, and here it's the second one. So it is the difference between natural gas and petroleum gas. Okay, natural gas and petroleum gas. How do we find natural gas? Natural gas we all have discussed that natural gas can be formed along with the petroleum it floats at the surface ok. Sometimes natural gas is available in the separate like only natural gas is there ok. In both the ways the natural gas is available. Now how can we uh, like uh, from where can we get petroleum gas. So petroleum gas is formed during the fractional distillation of the crude oil ok. So like that first difference is how can we get it floats there in the upper surface and this is formed like this one is formed petroleum gas is formed during the fractional distillation ok. Now how the natural gas is formed? Natural gas is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water ok. How does how it is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water natural gas is obtained. Recently many new places uh, like you know have come into the uh, like existence like uh, scientists have discovered many new places ok from where can we get the natural gas. So how can we form natural gas how natural gas is uh, formed. So natural gas is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water. So let me write it is formed due to the decomposition. Okay. It is formed due to the decomposition of vegetables under the water ok and here it is formed due to fractional distillation or during also you can write ok. This is formed during fractional distillation of crude oil ok. So, this one is a major difference that this is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water and whereas the petroleum gas is formed when the fractional distillation is done we have discussed the gases are the first one to be released out ok. So, these gas get released in this way ok. Now, So, now come to the second point we can use usually write as compressed natural gas ok. When it is uh, you know stored in the form like it is compressed. So, it can be known as a compressed natural gas ok and this one is what LPG means it is what liquid petroleum gas this is compressed. natural gas ok and this one is liquid petroleum 
gas ok. Now liquid petroleum gas is usually, usually I am saying it is used in, it is used in domestic purpose. It is used in domestic purpose. Here usually used as a fuel for the vehicles ok and can also be used in the industries also children ok. Now so this one is what used usually as a fuel for the vehicles and this is what it is used in the domestic purpose as the gas which we use for the cooking ok. Now come to the fourth one. So, what can be the fourth point? Okay. So now these were about the uh, differences. Now we will talk about the similarities also a little bit similarity we will discuss. We will not write about that. But see now these both gases when we talk about are the you know is a good source of fuels ok. Maybe domestic uh, you talk about maybe in the industries you talk about why these are good sources of fuels because these are uh, these do not create pollution to an extent which is being created by the fuels uh, like coal, petro, uh, petrol, diesel, kerosene ok. So, these are both I am talking about are the safe fuels are the sort we can say an idle fuel which can be used in industry or domestic purposes. You know like uh, when we talk about LPG usually ok like, so what is the full form liquid petroleum gas it is actually you know butane gas. Now these uh, uh, this LPG I am talking about this gas do not have any smell ok. LPG do not have any smell you will think but our gases have smell uh, the gas which we use at home ok our gases means uh, at home the cylinders which we use at home it has a peculiar strong pungent smell or dirty smell ok. But children that smell is being added to the LPG ok and you all can understand why the smell is added because if uh, it smells badly or if it smells then only we can realize uh, in case of the leakage ok. Like sometimes uh, uh, the gas is uh, being leaked or uh, is leaking ok. So, we can understand because of the smell only ok. So, uh, that is the reason that why in LPG smell is being added actually it is a it does not has any kind of smell. Now these gases can be transported also easily through the pipes ok. So, this is again a good quality that the transportation is quite easy. Uh, when you talk about the transportation it can be transported in the way in the form of the like you know through the cylinders also and nowadays pipelines are available. You might uh, have seen in your own cities also like even the LPG is being provided with the help of the pipelines ok. So, what I mean to say is these gases are an excellent fuels why because these can be uh, an idle fuel ok because the pollution is less ok and they are easy to transport they can be carried it can be supplied through the pipelines ok. So, uh, it is formed with the decomposition you know actually here I should write that point can also be written like it is formed due to the barrier as we keep on writing for the coal and uh, petrol like when the uh, the trees and the animals they were buried ok. So, just I have shortened the things and I have written like it is formed when the fractional distillation during the fractional distillation or else it can be like when the uh, plants and animals were buried under the soil uh, got buried and many years like you know after many years it was like 
uh, layered by the sand the soil layers and due to high temperature and pressure in absence of air these gas are formed here also I can write in absence of in absence of what air high temperature and pressure ok. So, in absence of air high temperature high pressure again this kind of gases are formed ok and these are excellent fuels because these are not the one which creates lot of pollution. Now, when I am discussing two gas I like to discuss the third one also which is coal gas ok. How coal gas is formed it is not there in the question, but just we will discuss a bit how coal gas is formed children. See remember when destructive distillation is done ok, destructive distillation of what when destructive distillation of coal is done. So, what is formed coke is formed ok. So, in this process when the destructive distillation of coal is done to form coke coal gas is released ok. Again here also high temperature ok high temperature high pressure high temperature high pressure and no air ok. So, this is about what coal gas. So, uh, even you should be aware of that like three gases we can talk about and uh, like you know we can compare it. So, how this coal gas is formed it is formed due to the destructive distillation of coal ok. So, what is a destructive distillation when coal is heated ok when coal is heated ok it is heated at very high temperature very high pressure and in absence of air. So, coal ok the coal gets converted this one. The coal is getting converted into what coke the process in which the coal is getting converted into coke a gas is released this gas is known as coal gas. Now, what is the use of the coal gas? Coal gas was uh, first it was also used as a fuel ok for burning the lamps and all this thing but now it is also used for producing heat. So, uh, again this one is also safer ok uh, it also creates uh, a good amount of uh, like fuel. it works as a good fuel also ok. So, and lot of heat is also produced. So, these are the three gases which we need to know ok natural gas petroleum gas and coal gas. Okay. So, the difference was only asked between the natural gas and the petroleum gas, but still we have discussed about the coal gas also. Now, come to the next question, next question is about the difference between the petrol and diesel. Now, we will talk about petrol and diesel. So, I will write here only petrol and diesel ok. Now, see petrol as we all know petrol is what see when we talk about similarities here also I have discussed about the similarities ok. So, similarity when we talk about both are the uh, component of crude oil. Ok, when we talk about similarity both are the component of crude oil. It is formed due to the fractional distillation of the crude oil both ok, but when we talk about and see what can be the other similarity I will write similarity also that said, but we will discuss first. So, what can be the similarities both are formed as the uh, due to the fractional distillation of the crude oil ok both can be used as a fuel. So, these uh, and third one both are fossil fuels ok. Fourth both pollutes the atmosphere. So, these are the points which are similar in them ok, 
now we need to find out what are the difference in them ok I will write similar this time here but difference we will discuss now see difference is what this is usually used or I should write here like it is used as a fuel for the vehicles ok it is used So, it is used as a fuel for vehicles, but which vehicle lighter same here, but which vehicles heavy vehicles ok. Now, uh, now the second one density is less ok. When we talk about petrol and diesel if we compare the petrol and diesel the density of the uh, petrol is lesser it will float on the diesel ok and the density what about the density of the diesel it is higher density is high ok density is less density less I have written in very like it is in the short form it is not wrong ok density is less density is high ok. Now third point I will have to write the similarity somewhere else ok. So third point it is uh, it comes out like when petrol I am talking about ok. So, what happens in the case of petrol it is the it comes out earlier during the process of fractional distillation and when we talk about diesel so after petrol like naphtha comes then kerosene comes and then comes the uh, diesel. So, has got or boiling point boiling point is very low ok. Boiling point is very low here uh, third point BP boiling point is higher than petrol ok. So, boiling point is very low and that is the reason it comes out earlier uh, early in uh, fractional distillation. So, this is about the differences now we will talk about the similarities. So, what are the similarities children these were differences ok. Now, we will talk about similarities. So, what are the similarities similarities about these both are fossil fuels ok. So, these both are what fossil fuels petrol and diesel both are fossil fuels and when we talk about similarities there is no use to draw line because we have to write the common points in this. So, both are fossil fuels and uh, we all know either you talk about petrol or diesel or kerosene both or all these when we, we say that these are fossil fuels it is but natural that these are the uh, one which are responsible for creating the pollution ok. So, they create or are harmful are harmful for environment ok are harmful for environment as they create pollution ok. Both are fossil fuels are harmful for environment 
as they are as they create pollution ok and which kind of fuels these are these are non renewable resources non renewable resources ok now I will not write that these are inexhaustible uh, or exhaustible that now you will have to understand because we have discussed exhaustible and inexhaustible before this only. So, now it is your turn to write whether to judge whether these are exhaustible resources or non exhaustible resources. So, when we talk about similarities the main similarity like the uh, main things are what these both are fossil fuels they are uh, they produce lot of energy ok, but then they create pollution also ok. So, they are fossil fuels used for vehicles ok used for vehicles means I am writing through I am writing in a short form because there is no place left. So, used as a fuel you can add it over here as fuel ok used as a fuel for the for what actually used as a fuel for vehicles ok. So, this was about the differences and the similarities. So, we we'll just have a quick uh, revision of this thing here we have discussed about the uh, differences between the natural gas and the petroleum gas ok and even we have discussed the coal gas. So, when we talk about natural gas it how it is formed it is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water ok and it can have a separate wells where we can get only natural gas, but we can even find it along with the uh, crude oil also ok. Now, when we talk about crude oil so uh, we all know what has to be done with the crude oil it has to be like uh, refined. So, petroleum gas is the one which is obtained due to the refining of the petroleum or the crude oil ok. So, it is written it is formed during fractional distillation of crude oil. Now, uh, you like when the natural gas is compressed. So, it is known as what compressed natural gas and usually you know here we have got methane. What is the main source of natural gas it is what? methane I should write over here it has got what methane ok main source is what methane. Now, along with this I'll like uh, these when I talk about the similarities as we have done in petrol and diesel. So, similarities can be what these can be used as a fuel ok industrial fuel and domestic fuels. So, this was about the gases coal gas it is formed during the destructive distillation of the coal. What is destructive distillation to heat the coal at high temperature, high pressure in absence of oxygen due to which what is formed three substances are formed coke, coal tar and coal gas. Now, how coal gas is formed children when coal undergoes destructive distillation coke is formed during this process a gas comes out which is known as coal gas ok. So, coal gas can also be used as a fuel it is used for the heating purpose also. Now, the next one is about the difference between the petrol and the diesel and similarity between the petrol and diesel. If we talk about the similarities between the petrol and diesel. So, these both are used as a uh, fuels ok for the vehicles maybe for the lighter vehicle or the heavy vehicles and at the same time both are non renewable resources both are exhaustible resources both are non conventional uh, or conventional which one. So, both are what conventional resources they are create lot amount of pollution global warming ok uh, are responsible in some way or the other for the acid rains ok. So, these all are similar points can be produced the both are how both are produced due to the fractional distillation of the crude oil I have written I have not written. So, you can write even the fifth point as are formed due to fractional distillation
of coal. Oh, coal, crude oil. Okay, so please do not write coal. Please write crude oil. So both are formed due to the fractional distillation of the crude oil. Okay. So this is about the differences. Now we'll move to the next question. Let's see what is the next question. So the next question is answer the following. Okay. So I'll have to clean the board now.